Hello there. I'm back with another how-to tutorial. In this video, I'll discuss how to use Python to scrape comments from a Facebook post. The post may be from any account, be it yours or someone else's. There were other methods before that not just allowed me to scrape the comments but interact as well using the page I'm handling, but Facebook implemented stricter guidelines and I'm no longer able to do it unless I get my page quote-unquote verified in a way. The tutorial I'll discuss here is based on the works of Yasinil as posted in Medium. I'll leave the link to his post in the description below. This works as of August 2024. Here's the snippet of the first of two parts of the code that I use. The first part of the code is importing the necessary libraries, which include the Facebook Scraper, Requests, and Cookie Jar. The Facebook Scraper and Request libraries are essential to send and receive data from Facebook. Meanwhile, Cookie Jar contains credentials needed to authenticate the requests. In case your system does not have those libraries yet, you can use the pip install mechanics in the command prompt to install them. If you're not familiar with this, drop a comment below and I'll guide you further. Depending on your usage, you might have to import more libraries to better perform the task. In my case, I prefer putting my data in data frames, so I import pandas. Now let's look at the code proper. We start by setting up the credentials through the cookie jar. This isn't a simple log in credentials though. We have to feed the jar with the cookies from Facebook. Don't worry though, this does not steal your log in information. It just gets details of the current session. We can't get those cookies manually though, or at least we can't without some aid. To get those cookies, we need the edit this cookie browser extension. I'm not sure if it's available in Firefox and other browsers, but I'm sure it's available in Chrome. To install, click the three dot icon near the search bar, then go to extensions, then go to store. Once in the store, search for edit this cookie and click install. Now that you have the edit this cookie extension installed, open facebook.com in a browser and log in to your account. After logging in, get the cookies by clicking the edit this cookie extension. The details of the cookies would appear in a mini window near the extension. What you do next is click the right arrow icon which is exporting the details. After clicking, it will say something like the cookies have been copied. And now you have the necessary cookies. Once you have that, paste that to the cookies variable in the code. That should be it for the cookies except that the boolean true and false are spelled in lowercase which Python does not recognize. A simple workaround here is to assign the lowercase true and false to the corresponding Python true and false. The next part of the code just reformats the cookies so they fit the cookie jar object requirement. The cookies are now ready, and we are now ready to scrape the comments. The post ID variable here is the identifier for the post you want to scrape. You can get this by going to the post and then picking the string after the post tag in the URL. By the way, the easiest way to get to the post is by clicking the posting date. It's actually a hyperlink that brings you to the actual post. Next, we specify the maximum number of comments. I'm not sure, but I think there is a daily limit of about 3,000 to 4,000 comments that you can scrape per day. I didn't know this before, so I hit the limit at some point, and I was prompted that I was temporarily banned from scraping. The suspension lasted only for a day, so I was able to scrape again the day after. Next, we scrape the comments using the getPost method in the Facebook Scraper library. The actual post we need is the first element of the generator output of the scraper, and that is assigned in the code as post. We get the comments by extracting comments underscore full from the post variable. Now this variable basically contains all the comments that we want. The next steps are just for saving and representation of the data. I generally prefer to save the comments as a CSV file, and the easiest way to do that is to save the data as a data frame first. The last part of the code basically iterates through all the comments that are saved in the comments variable and save them in a data frame. Note that we can add some sort of filtering here if we want. For example, I don't need to see my own comments, so I exclude every comment that I made under my name. I leave it up to you to check the structure of each comment. Each one has a lot of information and some of them might interest you. 
The comment ID, URL, time, name, and text are the only info I need from each comment, so those are the only ones I save in the data frame. The last line of the code just saves the data frame to a CSV file using the pandas to CSV method. Change the file name as you see fit. And that's it for this tutorial. As I've mentioned earlier, this code is only good for scraping the comments. If you need to interact with the post, like sending reacts or replies, you need to find an alternative way. I hope you learned something from me today. If you're into math and random coding, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any other requests that are within my capacity, please let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.